Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the fantastic and absolute mind cluster F-U-C-K that is 12 minutes. Now this game was developed by Louis Antonio, published by the ever brilliant Annapurna Interactive and is usually available for £20.99 but once again it's another Xbox Game Pass game so get the hell out of Game Pass right now. So where the fudge to begin? We play as Scott, not his real name, but he kind of looks like a Scott, who is meant to have a nice romantic evening with his wife, Mel. Let's call her that for band's sake. Unfortunately, a copper arrives, arrests, beats us to death until we are returned to the same spot 12 minutes earlier, where we need to gather new info to find out just what the hell is going on. Now, achievements-wise, it can be quite tricky, as you have to do quite a bit in certain loops to be able to unlock certain ending achievements. If you make one or two wrong moves, you can get a different one, and it all goes to shit. Now, there are also paintings in a few um, loops that we need to interact with and do some annoying-ass gardening. It's not that difficult, though. I will try my best to explain things as we are going, so don't miss a tingo scrat. So, we got a lot to get through then, so with that being said then, let us begin. So here is Scott then, looking more like Sean from Shaun of the Dead, working in that electronic store with a bit of uh, red ink. <laughs> you got red on you, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, but once we begin then, what we're actually going to do, we're going to press A to move. You need to move the cursor with the left stick and then press A to get where you want to go. Uh, we're going to interact with the painting on the left. Just some nice books, no Kama Sutra or anything, which is a damn shame. Interact with the painting on the right. And they got some real good books. And that is a flower. Now these will come in handy potentially a little bit later on. But for now we're just going to walk up. We're going to interact with the plant on the left. There it is, and there's an obvious looking fake rock, but there's no key in that or anything. So you can press up on the D-pad, or you can just uh, move your cursor up to the top of the screen. Press A to interact with the fake rock, and you get the house keys. So as it says there, press A outside the selected item to exit, and then you can just press up on the D-pad again, and then press A and drag your house keys to the front door because that is how usually keys work. I don't know if you noticed that. But the first thing, very importantly, the first thing that we're going to be doing is putting your controller down right now and do absolutely nothing for five minutes. Do not walk anywhere. Do not touch anything. Put your controller down right now. Go make a brew. Go take a poop. Whatever, whatever the hell you want to do. But do not do anything for the next five minutes because we'll be getting the first achievement called Listen, which is for, as I said, not doing anything for five minutes. Oh, hey, that's a nice welcome. Thank you, Mel. So, yeah, th this is uh, basically our guy Scott. <laughs> Again, Scott, we're just going to keep calling him Scott. He's just going to move and he's going to talk. It's all going to be a whole automatic scene. And this is going to last about five minutes or so. So, you know, enjoy her reading a book and you talking about crap. Which is actually the norm for one of my videos, anyway. <laughs> so, how was your day? Oh, you know, glad to be home. I'm glad you're home, too. Well, like you're in that. Hey, I was thinking, what if there is room for something more in our lives? What, what do you mean? I mean, like, I'm happy now. But, you know, what if there was more? <laughs> what do you mean, more? Just more. More than just thinking about myself. Uh-huh. Well, you know, if you want to get started, I could really go for a massage right about now. <laughs> yeah, I bet you could. Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Okay. So what if, hypothetically, I had an affair? Excuse me? No, I mean I didn't. But if I had had one, would you want to know? I, I, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. Honestly, I guess I prefer it if you didn't tell me. Really? Yeah, I, I mean, the past is in the past. It's better to keep it there if it's just going to hurt me. So lying would be better? I mean, no. Not lying, but... Look, if this hypothetical affair was over and it's in the past and it's not affecting us, 
Why lob a grenade? Right. Okay. So. <laughs> so. Wait, did you have an affair? No, no, no. I shouldn't have said that. I, uh, I did some things in the past. I made some mistakes. And those mistakes might not stay in the past. Uh-huh. <sighs> what are you talking about? You trust me? Yes. Yes, more than anyone. Okay. Stay right here. O okay. By the way, if somebody, uh, um, hypothetically, asks you if they had an affair, it probably means that they had an affair, and if they're pregnant, then it's probably the postman's, or the milkman's, or, you know, whatever, whatever way you get someone to your door. But of course, I'm obviously joking, that's so, probably not what happens at all, right? It's just, it's just in the, uh, it's just in the movies. Right? I'll tell you, just not here. Where? Anywhere, just not here. Come on, let's go. Okay. Mm. Mm. Let's go. Okay. Okay then, so now that we've got that achievement out of the way, now we can get the game properly started for properly for reals, bro. So, let us press the continue button right now. Now, one thing I should mention that, if you do end up uh, messing up, or you don't get a certain dialogue option that I do on screen, or you've taken too long to do something, you can just walk out the door or actually kill yourself, and that will actually restart the loop. So it basically sort of restarts the level, so you can just do the same things again that I've done up until that point. So if you have missed something or anything like that, do not panic, do not worry, just restart the loop and you can go again. So here we go, then. like I said, we're going through loop numero onos onos. So grab the plant, grab the fake rock, get the key, and then, of course, you know where to stick a key. No, it's not up your nose. It is, well, it is if you're on a hell of a night out. Just joking, just joking. I don't condone sticking keys up noses or anything. In your front door, and let us finally begin loop one os out of um, 13, I believe, I've got. Well, anyway, first thing we're going to do then, every time we come home, our little wife is always going to come out and greet us. But we're going to grab the mug on the right-hand side, um, open up your inventory with the D up on the D-pad and then use that mug with the sink to get a mug full of water, obviously. And like I said, our wife is always going to greet us. Thank you, honey pie. That is just ah, so loving. I feel so goddamn loved for once in my life. And now what we're going to do is interact with the egg painting in the kitchen right here. She will automatically turn the light on, interact with the egg painting and the tree painting just above the settee there. Now we'll need to do this a number of four times with the tree painting and three for the egg as it will change um, during the course of the game and that is important for achievements. Uh, so we're going to head into the bedroom on the left, uh, switch on the light, give yourself the old electric shock of life, yeah, yeah. which is always funny. And then what we're going to do is use the mug of water and use that with the flower on top. This actually unlocks us the flu fluidity achievement. So there we go, two achievements. And we're not going to see an achievement now for quite some time. So I hope you enjoyed them. Interact with the painting there in the bedroom to see the uh, married couple and then exit. That is also for another achievement as well. And those pictures and th those pictures and paintings will change. Um during the course of the game. So maybe, like I said, through every loop, it's probably worth just interacting with all three paintings just in case, but I've got timestamps uh, in the comment section below anyway uh, for anything that you're stuck. Interact with the wife's book. So as soon as Melanie right here sits down, interact with the book and they're gonna have a little bit of dialogue. It's gonna be all kind of boring stuff. Again, if it ain't Kama Sutra, it's not my ting. I'm sorry. Right, talk to your wife and then tell her it is a good time for the dessert. Not the desert, but the dessert. Nice. So, she's excited. You know what happens when you have late night desserts? You probably end up going to sleep afterwards. After all the promises of the snackshuels. <laughs> anyway, we're going to grab the two mugs. 
So we've already got the one mug full of water, so we can put that on the table. Now, on the table on the right-hand side is our side, so this that will uh, come in play much later. Um, but her side is the left side, our side is the right side. So that is something to remember. So again, put the mug of water on the right side, again, which is our side. Uh, she's going to start doing all the things. You can actually start putting all the th uh, things on the table as well if you want, but, you know, we've had a hard day at the electronics store looking like Shaun of the Dead, so we can't be asked to do anything, uh, which is about the same for any man, really, in, in real life, anyway. <laughs> not me, obviously. I'm not dead lazy. <laughs> so she's going to switch on, switch off the light. She's going to bang the radio on, get the bumping tunes out. She's going to get a key out. <laughs> I'm just joking. She's not. But she's going to get the weed, and we're going to start eating. So interact with the plate to start eating when she does. And that is just delicious. And we're just going to keep eating for a moment, and then Mel is going to whip out a present for us. How lucky are we? Ish. So when is a dessert not just a dessert? I have something to share. Dessert and a present? What, what is this, my birthday? Just open it. So when she gives it, interact with the present. Please be an Xbox Series X. Please be a sex. Oh, it's not a Series X. What the hell is this? Oh, press A to interact with the baby clothes. And then press the B button to back out to get a few more dialogue options there. So, yeah, that's a great surprise. I would have preferred the Series X. But, uh, no, nope, that's okay. What the a baby will do too. I mean, it costs about the same, doesn't it? So tell her what you think, and then choose it's going to be great for the two dialogue options there. And then there is going to be another two bunch of dialogue options where basically Mel is wanting to dance. Now, when I found out that um, my missus was pregnant with our first child, she didn't want to dance. Um, yeah. We sort of done the, the kissing and the loving, and it was all good. But who dances after finding out they're pregnant? Unless it's one of those jiggity jig jig ones. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, babbling on. We're just uh, going to skip through the dialogue. Well, we can't skip through the dialogue. We're going to wait for him at the minute. But now we're going to choose maybe later. So when she says want to dance, we're going to choose maybe later. And then again, choose maybe later. We will be dancing with Mel a little bit later on, but for now it's maybe later, maybe later, and then apparently we've got a cover that's coming to show up at our door. Damn man, she looking thick. So, so anyone who looks like a knockoff hitman definitely does not look uh, is but just definitely not a copper. So we don't have to do anything now. All we have to do, you can just sit there casually eating your dessert while your missus gets manhandled by um, Wish-style Hitman. And then he's just going to come and fudge us up anyway. But we don't have to do anything for the time being. And this is the first loop over with. You're under arrest for your father's murder eight years ago. No, 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 that can't be right. Shut up. You know what this is. Now, where's your father's watch? My father? Please, you must be thinking of someone else. Uh-uh, no playing dumb. Tell me where the watch is. I'm not lying. Please don't hurt us. Honey, tell him. He can't help you. Just you and me. Tell me where the watch is, and we all go our separate ways. I'm telling you, I don't know about any watch. Okay, let's just see. Look, I, I, I don't know. No, 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 please. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, get off me. I feel something poking me. G get off. I, that better be a knife and not your goddamn junk. Oh, he's strangling us. Okay, I thought something else was going on there. I thought he was an expert in all kinds of stuff, but that is the end of the first loop. Now, this is uh, loop two, so what we need to do then is, as soon as we uh, realize, like, holy crap, we're okay, what just happened? 
because it can't be a nice feeling, can it? <laughs> Being strangled. We're going to pick up the mug from the table and then pick up the other mug from the sink. And then our missus is going to come out and it's just basically going to get annoying for a minute. She's all like, oh yeah, I love you. I'm like, yeah, we, we've done this bit. Now, when you see the play button uh, fully white, you can actually press the A button to skip the dialogue. So obviously that comes in handy just to get through this dialogue a lot quicker. When it's not fully white, um, you can't skip the dialogue. Only when it is fully white, can you? So let us head into the bathroom now. Remember to close the door. Very important that we do this. Otherwise, she'll be like, hey, what you doing, you little douchebag? Open up the medicine cabinet on the left-hand side and grab the sleeping pills from the top. Put those sleeping pills in one of the mugs. Delicious. And then what we're going to do is use the uh, sleeping... Basically, we're going to fill up both mugs anyway with water. So fill up both mugs at the sink. And obviously, it's going to tell you which one is the mug with pills. Now, of course, when we do that, we're not going to knock ourselves out. So just be careful where you are putting that mug with pills. That would be a very hilariously silly moment if you'd done that. So now we can just uh, go back into the living room. Now, what we're going to do is click on the wife's book. Basically, we need to click our wife's book a total of three times throughout the playthrough. And this just comes in handy for an ending. Um a lot later on at the end of the game. Um, but we need to say basically a specific um, set of d words or a bit of dialogue or whatever it is. But we need to interact with the wife's book three times at the very least. And so when that one is done, we've interacted with the book. Uh, you don't worry if you miss it, by the way. Now you can always get it a lot later on. There are plenty of opportunities. Um, other topics, and we're just going to go back into dessert mode. And what we're going to do is place the mug with the pills on her side, which, remember, is the left-hand side. So very important that you do it on the left-hand side. Pass the mug with pills on the left-hand side. No. And then, of course, we can put our water on the right, the one where we don't drug ourselves up. Yeah, see? Already kicking off. We're already drugging our wife. <laughs> well, it's just a normal normal day in New York City, probably. Just joking, New York City. Please love me. Uh, now, like I said, you can keep interacting with the painting. Definitely worth interacting with uh, every painting um, through every loop just to be on the safe side. Uh, but again, I do tell you when they actually change. So, cheers for getting out the... World's smallest looking dessert right there. That's obviously going to fill me up. And honey, where the hell's my food, bro? You're just giving me a piece of poop on a plate. Well, it'll do. So we need to do all that. And then when she sits down and starts eating, that is when we can once again interact with the plate. So she goes straight in for the drink. She should go straight in for the drink for you as well. Then, but like I said, she um, we all start eating. Life is good until... She says, oh my god, I'm tired. Did you drug me up, you asshole? Well, she doesn't say that, but when she does say, I am tired, what we're going to do is immediately click on the closet door, which is on the left-hand side by the main door. So here we go. Oh, I'm so tired all of a sudden. So as soon as she says that, again, skip through the dialogue and then immediately click on the closet door. And then what we're going to do, we are going to go inside of the closet. Again, you have to do all this manually. Interact with the door to close it, and then we just wait. So basically, the cop's going to turn up, and he's going to be like, Hey! Knock-off hitman will turn up, wonder where the hell everyone is, and then he's basically going to wander into the bathroom and then into the bedroom. So it'll always, um, if you've got enough time, it'll always skip forward a little bit. So, yeah. But like I said, if it comes to a point where you're too late to do something or anything like that, remember you can just kill yourself or walk out of the door to reset the loop so you don't actually end up missing anything. So just keep waiting. Put your controller down. Do not do anything for the, for the momento. Anyone home? Hello? Police, come on out. Mm -hmm. 
Okay then, he's gone into the bedroom, so when you see the light flicker and the electric shock, that is when we can quickly walk out of the door. So as soon as you hear him scream and the electric shock, walk out of the door, go into the bedroom and then interact with the unconscious cop on the floor. So you'll have to do this quite quickly before he wakes up, otherwise he's going to bonus, not really. Uh, take everything in his uh, possession, two handcuffs, a knife, a phone and a revolver, and then go ahead and use one of the handcuffs on the cop. So up to the top, drag it to the unconscious cop, and then he is going to uh, bend him over, stick, turn him around, sorry, oh, i got to choose my words more carefully. And then he obviously handcuffs us, and I think we just do this just in time. So now interact with the phone, and go into the message icon there on the left hand side at the top, and then uh, just click on the number there with Bumblebee, and then give that a little call. So basically we have now memorized Bumblebee's number, um, so we don't have to worry about doing that in future playthroughs, we already know. And then what we're going to do is be nice and slicey, grab and interact the knife, and then put that knife to the copper, or the supposed knockoff hitman copper. So we're not going to give him a little stab. What we're going to do is basically, um, I think he's going to slice his nip off, give him a nip slip sandwich, you know what I mean? Now that is a painful nip slip sandwich if you're taking a me. <laughs> so anyway, we stabbed him anyway, he's bleeding out a little, but we are going to be getting some answers out of him. So. Um, basically, what we're going to say first is ask about the murder charges. We're going to be exhausting all of the dialogue options anyway. And then next, we're going to choose why would she possibly do something like that. Again, you can skip through the dialogue. As you can see, the play, uh, the play button is fully white. How do you know it was her? And again, just press A to uh, completely skip through it. Why are you still after my wife ass? My waifu? And then, how was her father murdered? Her. She shot him. Hardcore stuff, huh? It's just another day. Ask about the tip. <laughs> phrasing. Are we doing it phrasing anymore? Ask about the watch. Again, we're just basically exhausting all dialogue options, more or less. Um, but at this point, there is no rush to do them because, you know, our wife's not going to wake up. She is dosed and good. Which sometimes is nice. I'm just joking. Ask about his relationship with her father. I don't condone drugging your missus if you want a night on the Xbox or anything, okay? Uh, and then ask about his daughter. So do not do that. And then we can now leave the conversation. So do not say your instant. Just leave the conversation. And then what we can do is put grab the revolver. And well... Well, let's just kill ourselves. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Why not? Because that's always been fun so far, right? This shit gonna hurt like hell. And we are basically Mysterion slash Kenny from South Park now. That looks like it hurt. So, how are you feeling? How's your head there, pal? <laughs> anyway, as soon as we're done, we're gonna interact with the closet door immediately. So as soon as we can, as soon as we stop bitching about shooting ourselves in the head, we're going to interact with the closet door immediately. Quickly go in, and then quickly shut the door. Now we need to do that before our wife comes out. Again, if our wife catches us, or she comes and sees us, then just, again, walk out the door just to reset the loop. Um, otherwise, we are literally going to be doing nothing right now. So again, it's going to go to the point where the cop's going to come to the door, and then what we're going to do is absolutely nothing, and the cop is going to do a beat down on my wife's ass. Hmm. No, wait. Let me rephrase that somehow. I'm with the police. Turn around, please. What? Me? Yes, you. Hands behind your back. Let's go. Hold still. Hey, you're hurting me. I don't know what you... This is a mistake. Uh-huh. I, I don't... You, you must be... Look, 
I, I, I don't know. You don't have to handcuff me. We, we can talk about this. We will. I, I, don't, I don't know who you are, but... Just remember then that we are doing nothing. All we're going to be doing is really admiring our wife's body. God damn, we haven't looked at you like that in a while. Only when you're handcuffed and potentially going to die. Why does that turn some people on? What is that? <laughs> My God. Anyway, like I said, just just keep doing nothing for the moment. We cannot intervene. Basically, we're going we're gonna to get a lot of information from our wife, which we didn't know before. Even though she just kicked... He just kicked her right in the gooch, but that's fine. Why are you asking? Oh, Come on, skip this part. Please. I swear. Oh. You're gonna give me his watch. Only question is how much you make me hurt you before you do. I, I don't know about any watch. Keep lying. See how creative I can get. Help! Help! Be honest with yourself. You knew this would happen. There's no cavalry coming. Nobody's gonna save you. If you want to live, tell me where the watch is. This is your very last chance. It's, it's, it's in the vent in the bathroom. Under the medicine cabinet. Good girl. It's there. I gave you what you wanted. And I won't tell anyone. I swear. You find it? I did. Okay, now... What are you? Easy now. Deep breath in. No. No! Don't, don't, do uh. All right, okay. So he's uh, going f <laughs> So he's going for the old uh, suicide pack there. Now, realistically, what anyone else would do would just be to jump out and try and stab him in the back of the head. But incredible perseverance. Now, do not leave until you hear an elevator ding. So as soon as you hear that elevator noise, which should be about now, roughly about now, so again, around 10 to 20 seconds until you hear the elevator ding. If you do, if you come out too early, he will come back, catch you, kill you, and you'll just have to do the loop again, even though it is quite a short one, we don't have to do anything. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to go for a slicey dicey on ourselves. grab the knife, of course, on the kitchen counter, use it on yourself, oh... Yeah, on yourself. Not on the sink, you dopey butthead. Although, I tell you what, it's always... Well, I suppose it's always good to have a nice clean knife to gut yourself with. Apparently. Don't want no germs getting in all your uh, bowels and intestines and stuff, huh? So, he's gonna not do it first because he is a pansy. Not that I'm... <laughs> if that's... Well, actually, if that's the case, then I'm a pansy. I don't want to stab myself either. But he'll, he'll do that, and then all you got to do is just use the knife on yourself again. Give yourself the old gut stab of life, and then we will be into loop four. <laughs> wow. A lot of crazy shit happening right now. Oh, my. How the fuck am I? <laughs> so then, loop four. This is the point where we are completely losing our head, which, again, pretty understandable. But we're going to try and need to prove to... Mel, the wife, that, uh, you know, shit's going down. Uh, so, again, we are going to interact with the painting again. They haven't changed yet, but like I said, it's probably worth just doing this uh, through every loop. There's no extra time wasted or anything in checking. So, always worth doing if you're that little bit paranoid about it. So, uh, screw yourself, Mel, for a sec. We're going to head up into the bathroom. Remember to close the door. We need our privacy when we pull our pants down to go into the medicine cabinet, only this time we're going down to the ventilation grid. So we're not grabbing the sleeping pills. Press up on the uh, up on your D-pad to grab your house key and then use that on the ventilation grid. And then what you can do, there should be an object around the middle right there which we can grab. So this is worth a lot of money, which is basically what the hitman, uh, the crap hitman, knockoff hitman is after. But now we can go back into the living room and then what we can do is just grab the pocket watch and interact it with our wife. I found your watch. What? There's a man. What the f I need you. What? Listen! I'm sorry, I'm living the same ten minutes over and over and over again. So After she gets understandably confused, what we're going to choose for the next dialogue option is choose what to prove with. 
So yeah, what we're going to do then, head into the bedroom. Again, if you want to check the painting here as well, it's... Apparently I'm having a bit of issues with my own face there, uh, but it should still be the same one as we checked earlier. Uh, but go into the draw, click on the present, and now we can basically go ahead and give that present to our wife. And now she's going to be like, huh, bruh, you are seriously twisting the titty yankles off me right now. Again, every time they win. <laughs> what the hell are titty yankles? Well, they they sound good anyway. So again, keep skipping through the dialogue. Again, pressing the A button when you've got the full white play button available. And basically, they've got to go through this story about what starts happening. Uh, so this is all that we're doing. We're basically, in each loop, we're just getting more and more information to use in order to not die, basically. So, <laughs> comes in handy not dying. I can tell you that. Anyway, I... And I, and I made it here, Polaroid on the fridge was, I was gonna, a few weeks later, and things were, I go, never thought I, and now, please, talk to me. So when the dialogue ends then, just go ahead and grab the knife, basically what's gonna happen now, the cop is gonna turn up, he's gonna arrest us and punch us anyway, but we're just gonna do this a little bit quicker, you've heard the elevator ding, we're going to stop talking and basically, this is the most hilarious part, we're going to gut ourselves right in front of our wife who casually walks past us to answer the door. So, you know, look, slicey dicey, oh, cops just seen us and they're just like, oh hey, what's going on, how are you doing, huh? Um, yeah, <laughs> so, screw them, Mel. Anyway, we're back into the next loop now. We've got a couple of things to do. And we're going to be restarting this loop a couple of times. So we immediately go to the fridge. And then grab the Polaroid, which is above the fridge there, on the freezer. And we need to press the B button just to back out. We need to be looking at this without being interrupted by the ever-snooping Mel. I didn't hear you come in. Best night ever. Guess you made dessert. Great. Okay. So if you could just leave us alone for two seconds, thank you. So as soon as she does, go into inventory, press A on the Polaroid, and then keep pressing A to spam through the dialogue. And then until he says this picture proves she's innocent. Then head to the closet door on the left. And just walk inside. This is not dodgy at all. Interact with the clothes, and then pick up the phone. Now, uh, go into the inventory and use said phone. And what we're going to do then is there should be an option with Call Bumblebee on the right-hand side to so do that. Now, Hello. what the dialogue option that we need is say your wife is innocent, but for some reason, every time it didn't come up for me first. So it was only these two dialogue options which came up for me first. So what we need to do, if this happens to you as well, what we need to do is go ahead and leave the conversation. Sorry, I gotta go. Don't call me again. Sorry, sorry, honey. We won't call you again. And we're just gonna reset it. We're not gonna look through the people, but we are going to reset the door. Or reset the loop. Oh, wow. So I'm not sure again if it happens every single time, but it did for me twice, and it was friggin' annoying. So anyway, so we've gotta do this little bit again. So head to the fridge. Sadly, ignore the beer and everything, or the two plates of poop, which literally look like genuine poop on the toilet. Pick up the Polaroid, go through this with your wife again. Hey there. <laughs> Not now. Okay. So yeah, thanks for the greeting as per. Already bought that, Mel, sorry. Uh, so interact with the Polaroid again. It should only say now the picture proves she's innocent. So now we can go into the door and go ahead and just do the same thing again. So whack in. Again, it doesn't look dodgy at all. Uh, I suppose there are clothes in here. Probably the old smelly ones you got from the rave days. Um, but uh, yeah, interact with the phone call. Bumblebee again. And this time, the option for saying your wife is innocent uh, should appear. Now... There it is, so it should be on the second one. Say your wife is innocent, choose that. And basically what that does is Bumblebee will call the cop just as he's outside the door, giving us a little bit more time. And there is 
a couple of specific things, or sort of one specific thing that we need to say to El Wifo McGlifo over here. So give her the, um, are we going to interact with the book? No, we're going to speak to the wife, and what we're going to say first, we're going to tell her about the cop. So this is important, tell her about the cop. We only need to say one thing, and just say explain the cop's um, connection to her father. So what, that's what we're going to do. We're going to explain the cop, and then we're just going to go to previous topic, and then we're going to talk about her past. Now, what we're going to do is basically just go through the entire dialogue. So you need to try and skip through the dialogue as quick as you can before the cop arrives. Basically, we need to exhaust all the dialogue because we need to get all of the information, uh, as much information, uh, basically, as we can about her brother, about her nanny, about her bra size about her shoe size, you know, bloody absolutely everything, apparently. Um, but we need all the information. But it is important to tell her about the cop first um, so that he basically doesn't arrest us. This is basically a nice ending where he sort of leaves us alone. So if you don't explain about the cop first, then he'll still arrest us and you'll have to go through the entire loop again. And that is a pain in the old bumba snatch. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just keep going. Ask about the nanny's child, absolutely everything. Um, until, and he, you could probably just hear him outside there. Um, I don't think the watch ones matter too much, but it is about the brother, the nanny, and the dad, and everything. Basically, what happened with her in the past, which <laughs> is hilariously not that good. Not good. After All right, I'll open get it. Up. Is, is that him? What do we do? Do we open the door? Come we on. We need to tell him the you truth. You want to talk? Let's talk. Okay, we'll... So that, this little scene right here, <clears throat> excuse me, it may play out a bit different for you. Um, you might not get that bit of dialogue or she might answer the door or whatever. But anyway, what we're going to do, as soon as the cop is in, they're going to have a little chat. We're going to go straight into the bathroom, close the door and open the medicine cabinet. Go into the ventilation grid underneath, and then obviously uh, get in your inventory, use your house keys on the ventilation grid, and we're going to get the pocket watch, just while they're having a little chat. <coughs> oh, excuse me there. My chest and my throat is sore. But we can do this. So anyway, we've got the ventilator, we've got the pocket watch now, so we can just head out. <coughs> now, like I said earlier, if you didn't... If you did not explain the whole cop thing to your wife before talking to her about everything else, then by now he would start arresting us and we'd have to go through the loop again. But because we did explain the cop and then we went through the whole dialogue, she puts her hand on his shoulder basically saying, listen, I know your father was important to me. As long as she says that, that means that you've done, you've done everything correctly and this is the ending that we need. So we just need to... Oh, that's no good. That's no good. And that's the problem with living in America. You've got to pay like a billion pounds because you've got a toy stuck up your anus or, you know, whatever. Healthcare's crap in America, isn't it? Let, let's be honest. It's not the best. But anyway, just, um, okay, this is unskippable. <laughs> this is unskippable dialogue anyway. Oh, never mind. So, as soon as he says, I'm going now, and she starts heading off to the bathroom, go into your inventory and actually give him the pocket watch. That will end this loop and everyone will be happy. Nobody dies. But we still got a lot to do. Shame. Finding people, obviously. I'll find out who killed your father. Thank you. Uh, Actually, there's one thing that might help. What? When I found him, he lost a lot of blood. I tried to stop the bleeding, but... Well, anyway, he was saying something. What was he saying? Just the word monster. Over and over. I always wondered what it meant. It's my brother. Oh my god. You have a brother. My mom was right. She was right all along. When my father and my nanny were having their affair, there was a baby. A boy. A baby? I knew about the affair, but he never mentioned a child. My mother hated him for it. Hated the kid too. Always yelling at my dad about the monster. That's him. I didn't know. I'm sorry. But 
I'll find him. For you and for him. Thank you. Wow. So what happens now? Is it over? I think now we Yeah. I never I thought but you listen. But this is why we need to carry on doing all of the loops then. A little bit more information again, so welcome to loop six. Oh well, we love you too. Uh, but again, immediately we're going to be clicking on the closet as soon as we get our head around. I mean, doesn't that hurt your head going in loops all the time? Meh. Don't know, I've never been in one. Anyway, go into your door and then go into the closet and immediately close the door so our wife does not disturb us, which would be nice and slice. In the bottom right hand corner, we're going to interact with the clothes. We're going to interact with the phone in the clothes. And we're going to call Bumblebee again. Would have been funnier if they'd have used the uh, Bumblebee Transformer voice, but that's okay. Probably took took up too much of their time. So, again, we're just going to skip through the dialogue here. Don't go too fast. And we're going to say our wife is innocent once more. Obviously, that just gives us, again, a little bit more time. He doesn't have... Okay. Baloo's... And this is kind of one of the shortest loops anyway, so we're just going to wait for our wife. I'm going to wait for Big Mel C, or Mel D. <laughs> uh, eventually she's going to appear. Come on, girl. We need to get this on the go. So there we go. She gives us the little uh, licky licky, the old kissy smoochy smooch of life. We're just going to ignore that. But we are going to be speaking to Mel. And we're going to say, uh, we're going to talk about her past and then choose the option tell her what you know what she's hiding in the vent and then she's just going to go through a whole another bunch of dialogue about what's happening so far which is a lot <laughs> a lot to unpack really i i did what what are you doing he survived your brother he i have a a half brother he's the one that polaroid from it proves it was what is going on i know <sighs> okay you ready there's more a man is about what he was close and when your dad I need so now we need to be interacting with the painting because as you can see or as you can probably tell get out of my way god damn it it has now changed so it's not as bushy as it once was there's only leaves on the left hand side so that is important there to interact with that the egg painting hasn't changed but we have um, we got we're gonna check that one anyway always worth checking every loop and then what we're going to check is the painting in the bedroom as well, because as you can see, the couple are now a little bit further apart. So that should be two out of four and two out of four for the both paintings there. And the egg one, we'll get to the next one later on. So talk to the wife, talk about her past and find more about the brother being the killer. I don't know. Okay. What? I was two years old. I have no idea. I mean, maybe. You so after that bit, then we're going to go previous topic. Talk about the cop and then choose wait for him to arrive. Imagine just waiting for him to arrive so you can almost die. That takes some bowels, yo. Ten. So when she's done and she's having a little whinge about it all, we're going to head into the bathroom. And we're going to be doing the whole uh, closing the door. We're going to be sticking our noggin into the medicine cabinet. Heading into the ventilation grid. Honey. Getting your house key, obviously using it on that ventilation grid again. We're going to get the pocket watch one again. Eventually, there we go, look. Really good hiding place, mine, to hide something of extreme value. Not when we've got the power of <laughs> doing a 12-minute loop. Uh, is that a power or a hindrance? I don't know. Anyway, what we're going to do, we are going to switch on the light. I don't. That's not extremely necessary. Um, but we are actually just waiting for the uh, front door to go here so we can let him in. Alright, all right, there we go then. So we're opened up. We're good. We're all going to have a little chatty chew. What did you say? I did. And unfortunately, once again, it is all unskippable dialogue. It's going to go from, I want to kill you to get the watch to, oh my god, I can't believe what's happened to... I need goddamn therapy after this. Destroyed my mother. She called him the monster, and he was. Monster? What? Oh, it's just. 
That was the last thing I heard him say. It never occurred to me that it meant that. Listen, I know my father was important to you. I miss him too. But I, I always thought you weren't there. I wasn't there. But then? I don't know, but it wasn't me. I'm sorry, I really am. My daughter, she, she's all I care about. She's dying, cancer, and the insurance won't. I can't pay for the treatment. That watch, though, it could cover it all. God, if she knew I was doing this, thank you for not... So we're just waiting around. At, until the moment he says, I'm going now, then we're going to give the cop the pocket watch again. There he goes. So as soon as he says that, I'm going now. And then she goes to get it. We're going to give him the pocket watch ourselves. We're going to be the good guy once more. And we're just going to get more and more information for future loops. Starting to get a little... Starting to get a little sticky up in Meow Rap Meow. How much do you remember about her? I, it's been a long time. Do you remember her name? Ah, uh, something flowery. Daphne, Daisy, something like that. I'll dig into it. I'll let you know when I know more. Wow. So what... Is it over? I think now we can Yeah. I know I thought that you look I told hmm, something flowery. I wonder where we've seen something flowery before. Anyway, we'll find out in just a bit, but this is the loop in which we find it all out. So immediately click on the closet door on the left, go in, close the door behind you before your wife comes back out. Of course, if she does catch you again, just reset the loop by walking to the door. Click on the close on the bottom right hand corner, get your phone out. And then obviously we're going to ring the old Bumble Bilo. The old Bumble Pay. Hello? Oh. Hey. Please, he is... Oh. Again, we're going to be saying our wife is innocent. So say your wife is innocent of all the charges. All the charges. And of course, that just gives us a little time to ourselves. Bit of extra time. So knock off Hitman can't come and kill us. So go ahead, back out... Into the door, we're going to speak to Wife McGuife again. Oi, where you at? <laughs> Oi, honey, where the hell you at? But of course, it gives us time to uh, just double check the paintings, uh, just in case you haven't yet. Uh, you know, always be making sure to double check those paintings. There she is, look. After she's done, hmm, what have you been doing? You smell funny. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, so we're just going to leave her smell funny on her own for a minute, but we are going to actually talk to her. And we are going to talk about her past again, and tell her you know what she's hiding in the vent again. And go back through the dialogue once again. What? Look, I know how you really... What are you doing? No, it wasn't. It was... And he... How could you... I could... I did what? What? He's your brother. He killed him. I have a fucking... A half-brother. He's the one that polar... It proves it. What is... I know. Okay, you ready? A man is a... What? He was close to when your dad died. Uh, Mystery is about to be blown wide open. So head into the bedroom. Head into the drawer. Again, check the painting if you so desire. Always double, uh, always worth double checking them. But we are going to head into the drawer. We've got something in our head we may not like. Oh, uh, interact with the present. Now go into your inventory. Press A on the present to interact with it. And then press A again when you get the baby jumpsuit out. Baby close with my mother's name. It's all starting to click into place. Oh my god! Well, I'm saying oh my god because I know what's coming. But you might not know yet. <laughs> so talk to your wife. Talk about the cop. And let's wait for him to arrive to reveal. <laughs> it's insane. All these years, I thought. No, we wait. All these years. I've never. Hey, Bumblebee. I've never been What's able up? to say that out loud before. So, thank you. What? For listening. What do you 
Honey, I think you got prank calls. What the, did they threaten you? Listen to us. Oh, okay, I'll listen to him, but honey. Yeah. Okay, so the next loop or two or three or four can get a little bit tedious in terms of having to wait for the cop to finish his conversation and we're waiting around. Um, so it can get a little bit tedious, but it's still interesting when the final answer is revealed. So once again, we're just going to have to... He's going to come in old... Uh, if you ordered Hitman off Wish, that guy, he's going to come in, do his old spiel. Long and skippable cutscene again, until, of course, uh, Mel here with a big old T H I C C But it goes to get the watch. You're expecting me to believe that. I don't care what you believe. The bastard destroyed everything I loved. Destroyed my mother. She called him the monster, and he was. Monster? What? Oh, it, it's just... That was the last thing I heard him say. It never occurred to me that it meant... that. Listen, I know my father was important to you. I miss him too. But I... I always thought... You weren't there. I wasn't there. But then... I don't know. But it wasn't me. I'm sorry. I really am. My daughter, she... She's all I care about. She's dying. Cancer. And the insurance one. I can't pay for the treatment. That watch, though. It could cover it all. God, if she knew I was doing this... Thank you. So, here we go then. This is the point where we've already got something in our head, but we basically need it confirmed. So, as soon as he says, I'm going now, and wifey goes to get the stopwatch, open up your inventory, give the baby clothes to the cop, and wait for the big reveal! <laughs> and there's a reason I just made that noise. Look at the name. The? Is that the nanny? Who? Oh, the nanny from the old man's affair. Yes. D Dahlia. That's it. Her name was Dahlia. Why are you oh, saying no, this? No, no, this is some kind of joke. This is funny to you. Uh, 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 she, she was my mother. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> So if you're not paying attention or anything to the story or whatever, basically her mother and his father had an affair, had a baby, and in short, they're married now, but they are actually brother and sister. <laughs> so he has been poking his sister his entire life, or until they ever got married or whatever, plus... Um, she's now pregnant, so he's, she's, so the baby's gonna come all out looking all sloth-eyed and sixteen-fingered and basically Cletus and uh, his missus' sisters from The Simpsons. Wow, wow, well, well, what a surprise. Really didn't, really didn't expect that shock of you were ended up porking your own sister. That is, well... What can we say about it? <laughs> what can we say? We don't know. This scene, by the way, is automatic. Um, just with this one, just say maybe she doesn't need to know. Um, well, it, you can choose anyone there. I just choose the top one. But yeah, so that might take some time to keep you, get your head around. So, I mean, how do you feel? Oh, I love my wife for 20 years, but I've just found out she's biologically related. I mean, I suppose you can't. And bum your sister, can you, I suppose? Even though you didn't know at the time, you can't... You know, it's like... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, it's like licking something you never have before. You can't unlick a butthole. Right, so, anyway. <laughs> this scene's gonna play out. Still trying to wrap my head around what's just happened. And now our dad is basically calling us a flipping idiot for... Continuing to want to stick things inside of his sister. Oh, and he shot him well. 
Oh, it's all just kicking off now. Oh, boy. Oh, good. Good God. God damn, what's going on right now? So anyway, this is the start of loop 8, by the way. So how do you feel then? How do you feel that you've been like, ah, oh, our wife's so loving and tender and she's pregnant. And she's your sister! <laughs> right, so now we are going to be getting some ending achievements. And again, we just have to play... Uh, we just have to obviously keep doing different things, but you just <laughs> you just wait and watch this funny part. She obviously hasn't got a clue, and we do. Don't touch me, Don't touch me sis. Not the way you used to. <laughs> Whoa, tell me what's going on. Hey. <laughs> but now, if they were stepbrother and stepsister, they could be on porno but make a million quid out of that. What you doing there, step bro? Step sis? You know, that kind of spiel, which obviously I don't know anything about. Uh, friends have told me that. Anyway, we're going to interact with the painting, and that should now inter uh, unlock us the season's achievement. Um, that is for uh, observing all variations of the living room painting. Check the egg as well, and as you can see, there was just a snake. Um, snake popping out of the egg. So check both paintings before we start and do anything else. And we've just kissed our wife sister, which is always delicious. So we're going to head and grab the knife. Basically, what we're going to be doing now is the start of the gardening achievement as well, which is genuinely the biggest tedious pain in the ass in the game. But it's got to be done if you want the full thou. So uh, flick the switch. We're also going to interact with the painting and get the fawn achievement as well. So that should be both achievements there. Seasons and fawn you should now have as long as you've been interacting with the painting in more or less every loop or You've done it at the exact same points that I have as well. You should now have those two achievements, and now we can move on. So, we're going to interact with the flowers. They're looking a bit sad since they know what happened as well. Take the knife to the flowers, and we're going to slice that up. I, I mean, if we can. For some reason, he's having a, a little bit of trouble. There we go. So, we, <laughs> third time lucky for us. But, like I said, this is the start of the garden achievement. There's only one sort of tedious way to do this, so... Cut the flower and then stick the knife in the electrical socket to die. It's just the quickest way to do this. Uh, obviously, you can walk out the door or stab yourself, but doing it this way is just the quickest way. Now, as we begin the loop again, and we begin to realise really what's happening. <laughs> yeah, because I bet that pinched a bit. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So what we're going to do then, we're going to grab both mugs. So one on the table and one on the counter. And we are also going to grab the knife as well from the kitchen counter. And then we're going to fill both mugs up with water. Again, sadly, uh, Mel D, our wife, will come out and give us the whole, uh, Hey honey, what you want to do tonight? And we're like, <coughs> nothing with you. Not anymore. So now you should have a knife and two mugs fulls of water. Again, this is for specifically the garden achievement. And we've got to do it. We've got to do this in the next four loops. So, yeah, it, it can be a bit of a pain. But, like I said, we are achievement whores. And there's nothing wrong with it. Until you get really bored like I did. So we're just going to nip on through. Nip on through to the bedroom. So what you need to do. Uh, flick the switch on. We need to basically... Water the flower and kill ourselves five times. So this will obviously be the first time that we do this. So I don't know if you want to get a piece of paper and mark down how many times you've done it. But you need to put down the mug and water, uh, both mugs and water, on the flower. And then stick the knife in the light switch. Now I'm not going to be showing, and basically this is what will happen then. So you'll get a little stalk. And the next time you kill yourself and come back, you'll get a little bit more of a bush. The next time, a little bit more, a little bit more, until this first flower should be green and bushy. Now, bush is nice, but if it's green, you want to go and see a doctor. Unless you've dyed them, which would be fantastic. So we've killed ourselves. So that is the first time that we're doing that. And then what we need to do is repeat this exact thing five times. So like I said, you need to water the flowers and kill yourself five times. So if you want to mark it down, or if you're that good at memory, so this will obviously be the second time that we're going to be doing this. Um, now, what I'm not going to do is show you all five times. Basically, for the next 
um, obviously this is the second time. I'll show you the fifth time now, and then for future ones, I'm just going to be showing you the first and the fifth times. But it's um, obviously easy to sort of know and get used to, and you honestly you end up getting annoyed with your wife Mel D here. She just annoys you after a while. But this is it then. So second time again. So you should have the knife and two mugs filled with water. Flick the switch on. And then we can just put the mug full of water, uh, both mugs full of water, onto the flower. Now the aim is to grow three flowers, and you've got to do that in every loop, or the next four loops. Which again is a slight pain in the ass. And as you can see then, so a little bit of bush starts growing. <coughs> Excuse me. And then again, we can just kill ourselves. So once again, I repeat, I know I've repeated it before, but you need to do exactly what I'm doing here five times. So obviously this will be the second time. And now what I'm going to show you is the fifth time. So again, just mark it down or, you know, put it in your phone or whatever. Just so, I mean, you can't overkill the flower. But if you don't do it more, if you don't do it f at least five times, you will actually miss out on the achievement. And that is going to be a pain in the old bumber snatch for you. Trust me. <laughs> Just trust me. So, uh, like I said, then, this will be the fifth time that we're doing it. Don't put it on the counter, because she's going to come out quick, and then she's going to try and grab a button. That's not what sisters do. Well, not in my part of the world, anyway. Maybe different somewhere else, but... Um, <laughs> not here. Not now. Not now. Okay. So, like I said, I, I mean, I know I just kind of over-explained that, but hopefully that is in your head, that we're going to need to be doing this part five times every time. And you'll know when anyway, because as you see, the um, the flower is now nice, green and bushy, nice and alive. And that is exactly what we want. And so for the next couple of loops that we're going to be doing, basically there's going to be one, either small red flower or big flower. Um, so this is what you want. But and for the next loops, there's going to be one flower each as we do it until we get to the third one. And that is where the achievement unlocks. So... Now we have done this part anyway, so talk again, sorry, it's always worth pausing the video just while you do this five times, and then we can move on. So again, quite a tedious pain in the old snatch bag, but it's what we got to do. So we did, and now we can actually just crack on and move on with it. So we're going to interact with the closet door immediately, go in and close the door once again so that the old misses, the old ball and chain doesn't catch us. Uh, slap your clothes on, we're going to bottom right corner, get the clothes and of course get the phone. Only this time we are going to be saying, uh, where is it? So we're going to be saying, tell her why her father is really doing this. So the bottom option, that should be an option for you straight off. So choose that. And then basically what that's going to do is, he's just going to go home. She's going to ring him outside the door, and then he's going to pop home because he's like, oh my god. Who grasped on me? You son of a biznitch. And what we're going to do is have a nice perfect evening with our gorgeous looking sister. Delicious. So go and speak to her. She is in the bedroom. That's what it is now. It's not wife anymore. It's her, which is understandable, to be fair. So other topics and tell her it's a good time for dessert. So again, we are doing this for an ending achievement as well. So that is what's going to be happening over the next couple of loops. We're going to be doing the gardening bit first, like we just done with all the flowers and everything. Um, grab both the mugs, by the way. And we are going to be doing specific actions in these loops to get the certain endings. So, fill up both mugs with sink, uh, with sink, with water. I mean, we, we look like we've got an important job, but we only seem to have two mugs, uh, no food, uh, no drink. I mean, a beer would be nice, but, and some real food instead of a piece of poop plate, but... Well, maybe we're just struggling at the minute. I mean, New York or wherever the hell we are is uh, can be quite expensive. Oh, you've just... Oh, right. Put put the mug on the table. Literally, she's just put everything out and she wants us to finish setting the table. And we've worked hard being bored in a retail store all day. Eh? Yeah. So what we're going to do then, we are going to interact with 
her once again. We're going to go to other topics and tell her the table is ready. So it's going to be a delightful little evening. So go and sit in the chair and then obviously when she starts eating, interact with your plate. And yeah, again, try to, ign try to ignore the fact that you have been porking your sister for a while. Just ch try and ignore that for a bit. <laughs> Dessert, not just a dessert. I have something to share. So she's going to whack us the present. Again, we were hoping for an Xbox Series X or S, but it is, of course, even weirder than what we knew before now, isn't it? So I wish it was a bloody Xbox. I take a I take a original Xbox and PS2 at this point over this. So interact, of course, with the baby jumpsuit again. My sister is pregnant. Not in the way we intended. <laughs> Not really. So again, we'll just say, tell her what you think. And then just say it's going to be great. I just think that's the quickest dialogue option to get through. The baby that we make is going to be amazing. Mate, it's going to have two heads. That's what it's going to have. I mean, it'll be amazing in the circus, I expect. So if you want to make some goddamn bank. Yeah, fair one, fair one. Right, so... It's really creeping me out, actually. Uh, say it with pleasure this time. So, remember, at the very beginning, we said maybe later. This time, we're going to say with pleasure. Of course, this is for the ending Groundhog achievement. So, have a nice dance, and then you are going to hear the elevator go, and you're going to hear a little conversation as we dance with our sister. I always like dancing with you. I like that you like it. I, I, just, I like making you happy. That's all. That's ridiculous. Honey, that's impossible. Of course it's not. I would. Nobody's ever been as good at it as you. As good at making me happy. Well, okay. back at you. I won't hurt anyone. I promise. I double promise. I feel safe with you. I always have. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right there. It's hard for me to trust, but I trust you. <sighs> <laughs> Forgot. So, knockoff Hitman is now gone. We can now enjoy the rest of our evening. So, we're going to tell her how much we love her. So, tell her how much you love her. Um, again, it's a lot creepier than it was before, to be fair. But she doesn't know. So, let's keep up appearances. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to badonk a donk. Chicka chicka wonky wonk. We're going to go into the bedroom. And. We're going to interact with the bed, and we're going to act, interact with her now. Personally, this was the most challenging wank of my life. Uh, no, <coughs> sorry, no, just joking. Uh, but yeah, I mean, does it still get your motorboat running, knowing what you know now? Probably not, I don't expect. Ooh, weird noises and everything. Great. So again, this is all automatic. So just enjoy or don't enjoy the brother and sister getting intimate. <laughs> just can you hold me? Yeah. Always. I really love you, you know? I do know. Mm. But everything that we've done gets us the Groundhog achievement, so that was nice and disturbing. 
Disturbing the forces. <laughs> what else do I do? Maybe um, get a DNA test next time you get intimate with a woman. Just in case. So, like I said, once again then, we are going to be have to doing the part for the gardening achievement. So, uh, honestly, her humming at the very beginning and her coming out okay. genuinely done my tits in in the end. Genuinely did. So grab the knife, go um, obviously into the bedroom, turn on the switch and then cut the flower once again. So like I said, I'm sorry that it's a pain. But as you can see then, we've got a little flower sprouting. Yours may look like this, or it may look like a just little red one. It doesn't matter which one, as long as you've got one flower ready to go. You know then that you are on the right track. Um, again, if you do obviously end up uh, messing it up somehow, obviously you'll just have to reset the loop by killing yourself or going out of the door and then just doing it again. But it does, it can take up to sort of 10 minutes to do. So cut the knife, stick yourself in the switch, and then, blop. by the way, if you press the A button, even when he's just dead, before the loop, he will actually get up and then try sticking it back in. And then you can't turn the light on. Very weird. So, obviously, just like in the last loop then, another five times that we have to be doing this. So, picking up the mug, picking up the knife, filling the mugs up with water. I didn't hear you come. Not now. Okay. Heading into ye old bedroom, slapping on that light switch. Ba -bow -ba -bow. And then, of course, we need to pour both mugs of water over the flower. And then, of course, we need to stick the knife into the old socket to kill ourselves. Remember, we need to... Flower the uh, water the flower and kill ourselves five. So we need to do this section five times. Remember, it's five times every time. So don't worry if you've done too much. I don't think you can do too much, but you can do too little. So again, I'm just showing you the first part and the fifth and final part of this section. Otherwise, it'll just be bloody boring to watch. So again, just pause the video um, just until we get to the next point which is once again immediately going into the closet on the left and phoning a bumblebee so when you see me do that that is when you know you should have done it five times i didn't hear you come in best night ever guess who made dessert let me know yeah i will So, once again, then it should be nice, green, and bushy, and remember that you should have one flower at the moment, and obviously, when we go to the next loop, you should then have two flowers, etc., etc., so that is how it's working. So, now that we've done it, once again, getting used to that tingle, that gets annoying as well, so we're going to immediately go into the closet once again, close the door, and we're going to whip out the phone, ring Bumble Boon. The old bumble flea, the old bumble humble pie. Hello. Hey. Please. Okay. And this time we're going to be saying uh, that our wife is innocent. So we're just giving ourselves a little bit more time for him to come. So say your wife is innocent and then we need to go outside. Basically, we're going to be confessing to what we did to daddy all those years ago as we know now that we are the brother that um, we've been talking about. So go ahead, uh, she's probably into the bedroom as well, um, she'll be nipping around somewhere, uh, but to say, talk to her about her past, and then tell her what really happened, I don't know how to say this. Not and then nip through the dialogue, and then she's going to be like, oh my god, you're so bitch, 
say you killed her father. Look, it, I'm a man that killed you. What kind of and well, it's it's a hell of a sick joke. I'll, I'll give you that. In fact, it's real. It's a real joke. Say it's your fault. All of it. I should have told you. God, you. If I could go back, if you could go I'm having your child. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. And then just say that we will confess to the cop. And yeah, so <laughs> unlucky, brother. I mean, I know he says I should have told you sooner, but then again, this wouldn't have happened. You wouldn't have had the chance to have uh, porked and gotten your wife pregnant, who turned out to be your sister. So, well, maybe actually we should have told her from the start. That would have been better. Anyway, we're going to go into the bathroom at the top there, close the door, and we're going to be doing all the bits necessary to grab the pocket watch. So into the medicine cabinet, down the bottom to the vent grid. Whipping out your house keys. Uh, good to see we haven't needed the house keys much apart from getting this pocket watch. And then, of course, click on the pocket watch. So, uh, time's going backwards, which, I mean, if it went backwards by about 10 years before we started uh, dating our sister wife, then that would have been a lot handier. But it's all good. So, we're going to try and talk to her. And understandably, she's extremely fuming. So what we can do to just pass the time is go for a little nap. So we've just confessed to killing a father, and then we're going to take a nap. It's hard work confessing to murdering people, apparently. But it would make life a hell of a lot easier if, if murderers could just do that. I, I did kill him. I'm just going to go and take a nap now. Stick me in prison, I'm just going to take a nap. Tidy. So we've got to just listen to the conversation for just a moment, so you can turn either turn the light switch on, but we are just waiting for a minute. Oh, okay, I'll listen to him, but honey... Yeah, don't worry, Bumblebee, I'll take care of this. I love you more. So, like I said then, uh, oops, try not to lock the door, because uh, we can't let him in, and then we'll just screw ourselves over. And that'll be annoying to do all that, screw something up at the end of a loop, and then we have to do all the gardening bits again, because that is what happens. If you do mess up, and you have to reset a loop for whatever reason, you have to to um, do all the gardening bit again and I had to do that four times in the tenth loop which is a pain in the ass so what we're going to do now is obviously confess to the cop so we're going to tell him that you killed her father yeah monster monster so yeah again we can skip all the dialogue as per usual as much as we can you killed your <laughs> say it's your fault so you killed your father and married your sister Mmm, delicious. What a set of circumstances. Uh, now we're going to tell him about the watch. Of course, we got the watch, so we're going to give it to him as well. Uh, so obviously, just make sure to do that. There we go. Here. Now, please leave me to uh, impregnate my sister again so we can get a three-headed baby next time. But basically, anyway, this is what will get us the confessed achievement. And, of course, we obviously need to walk out the door. Obviously, happily enough. And then we're back again. So we've had a perfect day. That didn't seem to work. We've confessed. That didn't seem to work. So now we are trying to do a bit of cowarding. And uh, now, so, again, sadly, what we're going to have to do is the gardening bit again. Remember, we need to be doing this five times times uh to be honest i didn't know if she'd actually come into the bedroom if i got there quick enough but turns out she does still weird to kiss our wife since she is no longer our wife but such is the life of the wife so click on the flowers there so now as you can see we have two flowers that is exactly what we want again they might look like this or they might look like small dainty little red flowers doesn't matter which as long as you got two of the little buggers so <sighs> Smash the flower, stick the knife in the switch as usual. I mean, it must be getting tickly by now rather than painful. But, hey, we'll take it. 
And obviously, what what you need to be doing from now then, again, is grabbing the two mugs, filling those mugs with water, grabbing the knife, watering the flowers, and <laughs> sticking the knife in the switch to die. Remember, once again, I know I've said it a lot of times before, but just in case, we need to be doing this part five times. So count, write it down, whatever you do, just make sure to water the flower and kill yourself five times. I didn't hear. Not now. Okay. that tingle. I didn't hear you. Not. Okay. Oh, no, my flowers has wilted, but that's still fine because we've got two of them. That is exactly what we need. So there we go. Like I said, once you've done this five times, God, I bet you're getting pissed off at me saying five times. Five times, five times. Um, <laughs> what we are going to do is we are going to grab two mugs and we're going to fill them with water. We've, like I said, we've done it. This isn't another bit for gardening. We're just going to grab the two mugs. Fill them up with water. What we're going to be doing is actually the most douchebaggery thing on God Green's planet Earth. Um, and you will see in just a moment why what we're going to do. Oh, that humming oof, makes me sick. It only makes me sick now because I've heard it about 50 times. It's the worst hum of my life. <laughs> the worst hammer of my life. <laughs> anyway, so... Yep, thank you. Get out of my way. Thank you. Now we're going into the bathroom this time. What we're going to do, obviously, is just do what we've done before. So close the door. Always make sure to close the door. Otherwise, she'll wonder what's going on and you've fudged it up. Grab the sleeping pills and then go into the ventilation grid. Do all the things necessary there. So again, grabbing our house key to grab the old pocket watch head. And this is the loop that done my nut in the most times. I had to replay the garden a bit four times because I kept screwing up on certain parts or certain things weren't working. By the end, I was going to lose m m all of my insanity, which, I mean, m most of it's gone anyway, but the rest of it were about to go. Before heading out, make sure to put the sleeping pills in one of the mugs. So that is very important. You obviously don't want to be doing that in front of her either because, you know, she's going to be wondering what the hell's going on. So, what we need to do, um, basically, now what you're supposed to do is put the mug with pills obviously on the table. Now what she's going to do is drink it, but we're actually going to interact with the book here. So this will be the third time. So make sure again that you've been interacting with her and her book for the, th for the third time. Now what she's supposed to do is just start taking the drink but if she doesn't for whatever reason it'll just be easier to pick it up and actually hand it to her herself um so yeah so if you put it down on the table and she doesn't drink it just pick it back up 
and just give it to her and she'll smash that down with no like no tomorrow we haven't even got a kettle bro where's the tea where's the tea where's the brewskis at anyway so once that's done we're going to go into the bedroom and we're going to switch the light on this is very important as well um for what's going to happen and then what we're going to do we're just going to wait until she starts getting a bit noopy noops and starts heading into the bedroom there we go so uh, to be honest, that's like most of us, but we haven't had any sleeping pills. <laughs> we are just a lazy generation, and I'm okay with that. Soon she starts doing that, immediately go into the closet, go inside, and then close the door behind you. Now what we're going to be doing is waiting again. Now, um, obviously what happened is, she turned the light switch off, so which means the cop is going to be switching that back on. So again, what we're just going to be doing is waiting... And remember, like earlier, the cop had a little look around and then he went unconscious because he flicked the switch on. That is what we're going to be doing again. So, waity wait. wait. Come on, I know you're home. Open the door. Anyone home? Hello? Police? Come on out. Right, as soon as you hear the switch, see the flick of light and hear the switch, immediately go back out again, go into the bedroom. Obviously, the cop should now be unconscious and then interact with the cop again. What we're going to do this time, though, we're only going to be grabbing one of the handcuffs and then we're going to be using those handcuffs on him. So drag it to the cop and that is good. I like bondage session before we do our cowardly, despicable act with the knockoff hitman right there. So we just need to wait for him to wake up for a minute, so don't touch anything, don't do anything, just wait for him to wake his bald ass up. Do -do 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 -do. You were quicker than this last time. Come on, crappy hitman. Right, okay, here we go. So we're all good. Now, what we need to do is click on the cop when he wakes up, as you can see there. And what we need to say now is, we are innocent. So say, you are innocent. There we go. And then what's going to happen now is he's basically going to give us a um, a bit of a choice. And what you need to say is, okay, I'll do as you say. The top option, okay, I'll do as you say. Now, he's going to get up slowly, so do not move and do not press anything. I actually went outside and he came and beat my ass, so I had to do the loop again, which infuriated me in, in all fairness. So just make sure not to move, not to do anything. And then we're going to have a little more of a conversation. Now, what you need to do is choose the dialogue option. I know where it is. The top one there. So, we've given him the watch. Everything's all good. So, he needs to do something to her. Now, I wonder what that could be. As you can see on the flower as well, you could probably just see we've got two flowers still going there. So, go ahead, sit on the couch and just wait for a moment until he comes back out. Oh, hey, is everything okay? I hear a gunshot. Is, is, are you okay? Is she okay? Anyway, what we need to do now is give him your phone. Basically, we are being the little bitch for him. So we've got our pockets out, teabag style from prison break. He, We are the little bitch. So go into the closet, into the clothes, and obviously grab the phone. Go back out, obviously go into your inventory and grab him the phone once again, or give him the phone, grab him the phone. My English is awful. There are generally a lot of foreign people out there who speak a lot better English than I do, so top props. So basically what he's going to say, he's going to dial 911 and say that our lovely sister wife committed, our little, our lovely little swife committed suicide. Um, so obviously we need to say it, he can't say it because that'll be bloody dodgy. So obviously when the dialogue option appears, we need to be saying, 
tell them your wife committed suicide. My wife. Which is a bit unlucky, especially knowing the situation you're in. Now, this part is very, very important. Very important. Now, the cop's going to leave, but what we're going to do, we're just going to stay. Do not follow the cop. We're going to stay in the bloody apartment. Um, you, If you leave immediately straight after he does, the coward achievement will not unlock. Will not unlock. Again, very important because that is something I messed up with again. Um... Yeah, so I got very, very, <laughs> very pissed off with that. That was the third time I'd actually failed that and had to do this gardening bit a fourth time, which... Uh, so freaking annoying. So yeah, very important there to stay in the apartment, and that is how you get the achievement to unlock. Um, it, it Genuinely, if you exit, if you stay in there for a little bit and exit, or just stay in there, it doesn't make a difference to any endings or anything. Um... In the future loop, so don't worry. So that's why I just stayed in the apartment and done that. So we are going to be doing the whole garden experience again. If you click on the flower, we should now have three that are not fully bloomed yet, but we should now have three flowers. So sadly, we are going to have to be doing the gardening bit again. Sorry about this. You'll have to blame, uh, have to blame developer Luis Antonio for that one. <laughs> Sorry, Luis. Uh, so yes, yeah, destroy the flower. Stick your knife in the switch. And then, obviously, should be knowing what to do by now. So when we wake our ass up, getting used to that ball tingle. You and me both, brother. So obviously, again, we need to be grabbing the two mugs, fill them up with water, grab the knife. Both mug of waters on flour, stick it in the knife, uh, in the stick the knife in the switch. And then, of course, once again, we need to be doing this a total of five times. So flour in the water and killing yourself five times. So again, like I said, I'm going to show you. The first time and the fifth time, rather than all of the times. Okay. I didn't eat them. Not now. Okay. I didn't hear you come in. Not. Okay. that tingle so we've done this then but this is where we're going to get the actual gardener achievement now so we're going to grab both of the mugs once again fill that shit up bruh with of course the uh, obviously grab the knife as well obviously we're just going to be doing this bit so we've done the three previous loops where we've watered the flowers and now we have three flowers again you would have had to have done that five times anyway in this loop uh, yes, hello wife, yeah, hello Mel D, you piece of poop. So, again, we've got everything, so we're going to go in, turn the light switch on again, and now the gardener achievement should pop. Your flowers should now look like this. Beautiful, 
Gorgeous, mate. Gorgeous flowers. Took too long to grow, but that's okay. Um, so, that's it. Pour the mug of water on it once. And... Ta-da! Finer feckingly! The gardener achievement should unlock. Then we can just kill ourselves and finally just crack on with the loop and head towards the end of the game. We've got about 13, 14 minutes left now. So it's not too, not too bad, not too shabby. But uh, yeah, so like I said, previous, uh, in every loop that we've done, we've, ugh, we would have had to have done this part five times to get the Garner achievement there. So thank God that is done. So let us crack on with the loop now, shall we? We are basically just waiting for our wife, sister, swife, wister, mister to come back out, give us the old peck of life, and then we can go into the bathroom after her, which... <laughs> No, I probably wouldn't do that, but apparently we've got places to be. Mm. Not now. Okay. So we're going to be doing the same steps to get the pocket watch as we have done previously. So go in, close the door, open up the medicine cabinet, go down to the old vent event graph down there. Graft. Grid. That was a combination of shaft and grid. Uh, ventilation shaft, ventilation grid, anyway, whatever, whatever it is, we're getting the pocket watch again. What we're going to do, though, is just stare at it. Do not touch a Tingo Scrat. It's going to start going backwards, and basically we just need to wait until it gets to 58, until a new scene starts. So now shit is getting a trippy, boy. back so then now we're into a new scene once again with daddy uh, but we need to be uh, picking a couple of specific dialogue options for these specific last couple of ending achievements that we need to be getting these feelings for my daughter your sister Ooh, weird so this one choose maybe it's better that we aren't together so maybe it's better that we aren't together and what this is going to do a li little more of a scene is going to happen but it's going to eventually unlock the achievement called alone and then loop 12 out of 13 will begin i leave and where she doesn't get to know why there is and i know i know it's hard thank you for understanding why it needs to be this way this whole ah, i've made so many mistakes but for what it's worth i'm glad you turned out so well So we are alone. Uh, you can press the start button, by the way, to get to the to the continue point. So we are all alone. No one's there beside us. But if you do go on a date, just uh, get a get a DNA test. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to get one with my missus now, to be honest. Just to be on the safe side, this game can paranoia you out like that. In fact, I advise everyone to go and get a DNA test with whatever partner you're with, just to make sure they're not your sister or brother or whatever. Just choking. I'm sure that only happens once. Never again. So obviously we've already got the key so we can just nip the key um, into the door. And obviously as we'll be able to see now we're all alone. There's no one here beside me. Which given what we know is probably a good thing. So we're not too disappointed with that. So we're going into the bathroom. And once again we need to do everything that we have done to grab the stopwatch. So ventilation grid, sticky key inside, pick up the... Pocket watch. So this time, obviously as you can see then it's broken. So what you need to do is press the A button, drag it manually, but make sure to hit it on the 58 minutes past. Do not hit it at 12, so just be very careful just to nip it up to 58 minutes past. And then just wait for the other hand to get to that point. And then we're going to be back in the uh, 
scene with her daddy. Is it our daddy? I don't know what it is. It's it's fudged up is what it is. Hey, there he is. You're back. <sighs> Look, I know this is a terrible shock, but we need to be on the same page. So this time we're going with the opposite of dialogue options. So we're going to need to be choosing, I want to be with her. So I want you to choose, I want to be with her, I don't care, which... Uh, well... Yeah, no, that's good. And then tell her she uh, say she never needs to know. Choose the dialogue option. She never needs to know. And I love how um, knockoff Hitman has said. I know it's a bit of a shock, but a bit of a pissing shock. Jesus Christ! You need to get that bald head seen to, mate. Actually, so so does this character as well. To be fair. No, we're not just gonna lie to her about this. Why not? You lied about everything else. Yeah. I have, but it stops here. You just won't listen. Stupid. Sir, are you, sir? Oh fuck! Whoopsie doodle. So the worst punch we ever seen ended in the worst death I've ever seen. So he managed to break his neck right there. By the way, I'm not being funny, why didn't, like, surely one of them went, Ah, oh, ma'am, dad, look, this is my boyfriend, girlfriend. Surely one of them would have gone, Oh, shit, this is awkward. But they decided to let him get married and whatever it is. Anyway, we are now into the final loop of the game. We're coming up to the final couple of minutes. He's obviously extremely angry. So we're going to turn on the switch and then what we're going to do is immediately interact with the egg painting. This should be the third time. Remember, it was an egg and it was a snake popping out and now it is a snake as an egg itself. So you should be getting that achievement right now as long as you've been following with what I'm doing. Um, if not, it may have to be a new restart of the game, sorry. Oh, shit, sorry. So anyway, when we do that, we're going to go to the bathroom, back in the medicine cabinet, go ahead, grab the pocket watch once again. back so then now we're going for the mindfulness achievement we've only got two endings left to get and this time we're not going to be saying any dialogue whatsoever so when the options come up just ignore it um look yeah so don't choose anything what we're going to do is hover the cursor at the bottom of the screen on the book as we can see here now the best time to actually click on it is when uh knock off hitman here oh we'll call him shitman i should have called him shitman shouldn't i hitman shitman anyway as soon as shitman says say something that is when we can interact with the book if you click on the book too early um he'll basically beat the crap out of us and then we're just going to go through the little loop and get to this point again so not as long as other ones but still a bit of a pain in the ass so you gotta make a call if i could go back well things would be different but you can't just try again that's not how life works so you gotta make the choice so when he says say something like now Click on the book. 
There we go. So he's going to say the quote that we've um, done with the book that our wife was reading. So that is why we had to read the wife's book three times. So just as long as you've done that, that is the dialogue option that will come up and now we can just move on. So go ahead and click on the clock. Don't say I've changed my mind yet. What we need to do is just wait a couple of seconds here until the clock start, until the hand starts getting a little bit closer to 12. And so just wait about 20 seconds. So now click I've changed my mind but immediately just click back on the clock. Do not choose any dialogue option here. And then what should happen is the text should start fading away and the shipman's voice should start fading as well. And that is when you know you have done it right and you will get the mindfulness achievement. Again, if you do it too early, um, he will beat the crap out of us and we will once again just have to go through this unskippable scene, which is a pain in, once again, ye old bumper snatch. Bam, there we go. But that is how you get the mindfulness achievement. Now, what you can do, now what you're supposed to do, what uh, other people have shown and told what to do, is go ahead and delete a local save, um, and then go back into But What we can do, go back into the main menu, and just simply drag the hand back to 58 minutes past, and the continue option happens. Oops, we're almost there. So drag it back to 58 past, continue appears once again, and we can just go back to the exact same scene that we were just in to grab the last achievement. Now, a couple of people I've seen have said um, after you get the mindfulness achievement, you can just press the B button to go back, uh, but it didn't work for me. So that was the easiest and quickest way, the other way anyway, that I found instead of having to go through the little bit of a faff of del deleting your local save and all that jazzy ball sacks. Nutsacks, ball bags, yeah, let's do this. So we're on to the final one now. Again, what we're going to be doing is not um, choosing any dialogue. Uh, let's see. So we're going to wait for a little while. So basically what's going to happen is, like I said, dialogue's going to appear. We are going to choose the book again, but again, not too early. If you, again, if you do too early, he's going to beat the crap out of you. Um, so I choose it roughly around 20 seconds after the dialogue options appear on screen but what we're going to do now is not do a thing so again we're not choosing any dialogue we're not interacting with the clock we are just waiting until the scene ends and the achievement unlocks i can help with that if you want all you have is the future you'll forget everything you went through all the pain all the stress forgotten forever but you need to understand, there is no turning back. You can't undo this. We can talk about it still. You can choose an answer. You don't have to forget if you don't want to. The choice is yours. This is your last chance. All right. I hope you find what you're looking for. All right. And there it is then, guys and gals. That is the final achievement of the game. By the way, like I said, if you do have to restart a loop, um, you just have to go and get the pocket watch and go back into the scene, that's all. Um, but that is that then, guys and gals. That is the complete mind-boggling flub face that is 12 minutes. Absolutely brilliant game. Fantastic story. Um, but my god... <laughs> <laughs> did that fudge me up in the brain uh, but hopefully with this I hope you again hopefully you enjoyed the game and hopefully you enjoyed the guide I really hope the guide was smooth and clean enough and clear enough that it didn't flub your head up like it did mine making it um, but thank you so so much for watching guys and gals if it did help of course don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with a friend or family member as well um, don't forget, of course, to check me out on my socials as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. And speaking of which, thank you so much to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And for those who just support the channel regularly as well. You guys are absolute legends. But that is that for me then. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully it'll be a bit less of a mind flubber. <laughs> Thanks again. Big love!